In this video, I'm going to be covering the new Wilderness Ninja Strike today's update in RuneScape. Now, I'm not one to really cover patch notes at all, unless there's something that really, really sparks my interest. And this is something that definitely has me interested and something that I definitely want to talk about. So I have not read this. I'm getting you're kind of getting my first reaction too. But I did see that it said there is a Ninja Strike for the Wilderness Refresh. So it says the ninjas have been scouring the wilderness in force to bring out some massive changes, including the whole removal of the threat threat system. Alongside removing the threat system, reworking gameplay elements, um, the ninjas are also working, taking out curse whiffs and making changes to the mob densities. This should breathe new life into the wild and open up many new paths to progress. This is interesting because didn't they just do a whole rework to breathe a new fresh breath of fresh air into the wild and do a whole new refresh? So they're saying essentially that that failed and now they're doing more, I guess. Um, but it looks like they're removing the threat system and you can opt out of PvP from the looks of it. So the wild is really not the wild is pretty safe, which is interesting. Uh, so we're going to go past everything else and look at this. So the threat system has been removed. Uh, the wilderness was always intended as a high risk, high reward area. When we removed PvP, we wanted to keep that element of danger to justify the more rewarding activities found there. It was an experiment whether PvM could achieve the same feeling of unpredictable risk, and the answer, at least for this version, has turned out to be no. It's possible a different implementation could have different results, but we've seen very little interest from players in actually wanting that kind of gameplay, with most either treating it as a nuisance or just an opportunity for even faster, more aggressive spawns to kill. With the issue still outstanding, we've made the decision to remove the threat system entirely rather than to devote more dev time into fixing it or starting from scratch with a different system. Uh, we think we can make better use of the same time on upcoming updates. We want to seriously consider removing um, content which is doing more harm than good. But we've always been conscious of the older content that does have dedicated fans. The threat system is new enough that it hasn't had enough time to build up much love, so we don't expect the removal to be very controversial. Uh, so, okay, so the threat system is gone, so there's no threat system in the wild, and also uh, PvP isn't always enabled, so essentially I guess the wilderness is safe um, if you have PvP off. Um, it's like any other area. Uh, curse energy will automatically be converted and is untradeable. That is good because there was a lore going on where you could drop curse energy and be automatically sculled even if you're opted out of PvP. Um, it says a lot of content in the wilderness is overly rewarding because of the danger that's supposed to be there. Most is, is fairly easy to fix, but the wisps are an important exception. Um, yes, I guess, I guess that makes sense. If there's no PVP and no danger, then why add, have the, uh, really insane, uh, divination place, um, added a 15 minute world lock to receiving a reward back from wilderness flash events. So if you guys remember flash events, uh, which you could actually do is if you did one very quickly, you could then hop to a low population world and do that same one, essentially doing more uh, than they kind of want to cap you to doing. Um, so they did make this so you couldn't do that. Uh, it was kind of a bug. Um, they did make it so generic bags now give out reduced salvage and special bags less chance of Dragon Rider boots and gloves reduced salvage but vastly increased chance of getting dark cores. The dark core is used to make the alchemical uh, add-ons essentially so like the alchemical um, luck of the dwarves or whatever so the upgraded luck of the dwarves and all those items uh, so I knew it was insanely rare I knew people who had spent you know basically since release doing these events every single day whenever they could and hadn't gotten them so uh, this does make sense for that so here we just have some you know little basic changes for different things notably ripper demons will now correctly use their special attack i noticed when in the wilderness before they would a lot of them would just not use their spec at all which made them not very dangerous but i guess now that the threat system is gone they want to add you know they want ripper demons to have their you know one hit insta kill special attack back um items related to threat system have lost their effect that you know they can now be out so basically all those items added in to reduce threat uh they were useless before but now they're 100 percent useless pretty much um this one was interesting brawling gloves no longer function based on the wilderness level now just boosts the xp rate by the base amount so this means i guess you can uh you can use brawler gloves at any level of the wild for the same amount of xp uh, which i guess might give them a few more options to get some decent xp um, they did reduce Charming Moss, Hunter, and Agility XP, but Demonic Skull Bonus has been increased, so might even out a little bit there. Uh, Bloodweed Trees in the Wilderness now offer no additional benefit compared to the ones outside. Um, all right, that's interesting. All Bloodweed Trees are now buffed by upgrading the Infernal Puzzle Box. 
Uh, the demonic skull now works from inventory and Calgarians in the wilderness are now aggressive. So what they did was they buffed a few things since the wilderness no longer has a threat system. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting to me because I've always been one that loved the wilderness. I know I'm probably in the minority here. I didn't really like PvP. But I really liked, you know, having the option to be like, hey, I want to go and, you know, make some money. Uh, it's something I liked about old school, doing revenants on old school. And something I liked about the past RuneScape, you know, two, I guess you call it like 2011, 2012. I have, as you're seeing in the background, a clip of me actually doing revenants back then on my account. Um, this was a thing that I did a lot. It was super fun. I kind of liked the risk. Uh, I, you could go there. You could get some massive drops. I even, you know, can play the Revenant log in the current day, um, and I really enjoyed doing it. Of course, P carriers are annoying, uh, but I did... I was always somebody that liked the risk reward sort of thing, and I never really went with too expensive of gear. Uh, but it's kind of interesting now that the wilderness that is completely gone now. So the wilderness essentially is like any other area. And I guess with the way that RuneScape 3 has kind of progressed, that makes sense. But I still do find it interesting that uh, that it's kind of just like, I feel like they've definitely given up on it, which... Um, I guess RuneScape obviously has not a lot of PvP. Nobody really does PvP. Um, so it kind of makes sense. And their threat system uh, was just more annoying that it was actually giving that risk reward factor. Like, I never really felt like, oh, I could die. I got to be careful. It was more like, this is just kind of annoying. So I get why they removed it. But it's kind of interesting to see the the path the wilderness has gone down. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um but yeah, maybe I'll make a video talking, comparing, you know, the evolution of the wilderness from the past, you know, 10, 15 years, because I think that would be kind of interesting to look at, because this kind of seems like, feels like a little bit of an, the end of an era a bit. Uh, PvP, you could always opt out in the wilderness since they did the rework, but now, since this is removed, it's kind of basically any other area with no threats whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think below, but I did want to cover cover this update here and uh, yeah, more videos to come. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you aren't subscribed. So let's see if we can, uh, we can get to 40K anytime soon.